Welcome to The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. Hi, welcome to The Laboratory video series brought to you by Miracles Software Systems. My name is Akash and today I'll talk a bit about SharePoint and how beneficial it is to embed a chatbot on SharePoint. In this video, I would give a brief introduction about chatbots and talk about Microsoft's SharePoint. Then I'll go over the benefits of embedding a bot in SharePoint. We have Laurel, the HR bot that is now embedded into SharePoint, and I would introduce you to the bot and show you a quick demonstration. So let's get started. So what is a chatbot? It's an all new way of exposing data and services over a conversation. A chatbot can understand natural language and then process information and also present the result back to the user in natural language. Chatbots enhance user experience by providing instant gratification so users no longer need to wait for a response. This emerging technology is being adopted with an exponential rate by industries these days. Although chatbots run on multiple messaging channels like Skype, Cortana, Slack and many more, I'd like to talk about SharePoint and how it can impact the reach of a chatbot if it gets embedded into a SharePoint site. So let's explore SharePoint. What is SharePoint? SharePoint is a web-based collaborative platform that integrates with Microsoft Office. It was launched in 2001 and was primarily sold as a document management and storage system. After so many years of enhancement, it is now omnipresent in most organizations. I call it the intranet of future. Why? Because it provides rich content sharing experience, no servers needed, and it's secure enough. So how does SharePoint help in making a bot more reachable? Chatbots are supposed to run on channels. So that means users might end up using new channels in order to access the bot. An easier way to make the bot more reachable would be to integrate it with a SharePoint site as a plugin. This way, we do not have to make users install new applications or even introduce a channel. Rather, we make SharePoint site as our channel. As SharePoint provides security right out of the box, we can be sure that our bot is accessible securely. All these benefits help in introducing chatbots in organizations with much more productivity and low maintenance. Let me talk about Laurel, our HR chatbot that can answer to HR specific queries and help employees save a lot of time. Laurel can process ID card and paycheck status requests check whether a specific day is a holiday or not, transportation requests, leave requests, and many more. Now, let me show you how easy it is to talk to Laurel over SharePoint. So this is Laurel that's running on SharePoint. This is a simple HTML page that is put on SharePoint. In order to even access this page, I would have to authenticate myself over Office 365. That means this is pretty secure. The blue bar that you see on the bottom right corner is the chatbot widget itself. The moment I click it, it opens up a full-fledged chat widget. Let me start the conversation by saying hi. So it introduces itself and would want me to enter my email ID. Let me go ahead and enter my email ID. Now it's expecting me to enter my name as well. Let me type that. Great, now I'm all set. From this point onwards, the bot knows who I am. Perfect. So uh, any user who would come for the first time to talk to this bot would not know what it's capable of. So he might come in and say, what can you do? So it lists down all the capabilities that it can perform as of now. So it can book conference room, apply for a leave, check whether a specific day is a holiday or not, process ID card and paycheck related queries, and also check whether there's transportation available for a specific uh, address of an employee. Let me show you how easy it is to check for ID card status. A user might come in and say, where's my ID card? Great, so the moment 
the bot receives this query, it understands it and then goes to the database and pulls up the ID card status for this specific employee. Next, let's check how easy it is to look out for paycheck related information. A user might come in and say, where's my paycheck? So the moment it receives this sentence, it understands it, pulls up my paycheck related information from a database and presents it to me. Next, let me show you how easy it is to book a conference room. A user might come in and say, I want to book a conference room. So it will ask a couple of questions to know more about my intention. So what date do I need that new room for? So I'll go ahead and say June 23rd, 2018. And then what time do I need it for? Say about 2 p.m. How long do I need it for? About 60 minutes. How many people would be joining for that meeting? Say about three people. And whether or not I need a projector in that room. I'll go ahead and say yes. Great. So the moment it took up all this information, it is able to process this and then book a conference room for me either in, into a database or even check whether a room is available for that specific date and time in an Office 365 calendar and then book it for me. So this is how easy it is to book a conference room. Let me show you how an employee uh, would uh, apply for leave. So, so an employee would come in and say, I want to apply leave. So now the bot asks a couple of more questions to understand or gain data. So now it's expecting for a start date for my leave. I'll go ahead and say June 30th of 2018. What's the end date for my leave? Say June 30th itself. So I'm just taking a one day leave. And reason for that leave. I would say personal day. Great. So now the bot sends an email to the respective manager with this leave request. It is also capable where it can send push notification to the manager where he can go and talk to the bot and approve that leave. This is how easy it is to talk to a bot on SharePoint and how easy it is to access it over SharePoint without the need to install or access any pre-configured channels. Thank you. Thank you for watching The Laboratory, a video series brought to you by Miracles Innovation Labs. For more on innovation, please visit miraclesoft.com slash thelabs.